in our previous class we had seen how to make use of the code repository function like if you are already having a OCI functions code saved in the github repository or any other git product then you can make use of the URL in order to pull that functions code to the code editor in Oracle Cloud infrastructure and you can modify the function and redeploy to the OCI console. Now in that class we had just straight away pulled the code from the GitHub and we had pushed the code to OCI console but we had not modified the code. In this class we will see how to modify the code once we have pushed from the code repository. Let's now begin with our hands on and see how to do the same. We have already pulled our code from the code repository that is with the help of this option that is create code from code repository. Now once we have pulled our code what we have to do is we have to make the changes for demonstration purpose what I will do is in the response if you see when we invoke the function we were getting message like the element in the JSON response that is message and the hello world. Instead of message I want this to be greeting. Instead of hello I want this to be hi. These are the couple of changes what I will do with this code. Once you modify the code just save these changes. Then what you have to do is whatever changes you have done locally it will be present under this folder that is like what we had navigated under the username OCI ID plugin that is in the local git repository in short. But the changes whatever you have done in the local git repository it won't be deployed to the OCI when you write this command fnb deploy. So whatever changes you have committed into the remote git repository that changes will only go to the OCI when you deploy. So make sure after you modify the changes save first of all the code in your code editor you can make use of control s on your windows computer or you can just make use of file and save the file. Let me just clear the logs from here. Then what we have to do is we have to add the files which we have modified. For that you can just make use of this piece of code that is git add. We can ignore other things because we have already set up our git repository. We have to just add the changes. If you already know what and all files you have modified just mention the name. I hope you already know how to work with the git with the help of terminal. Click on this. Then we have to commit the changes. It will ask the message. I will tell as a second commit. There is some spelling mistake. Second commit. Click on escape. Then colon w q. Click on enter. All those things are mentioned by Oracle over here. What command you have to use. Suppose if you don't know. Then we have to connect our local git repository to the remote. This we have already done in our previous step. Next step after commit is we have to just push. That's it. Let me just copy this from here and paste it. Instead of u, I will force push. So whatever access you have, you can use same thing. So I will push the code. Next it will ask the username at the top over here if you see to authenticate my request click on enter next it will ask the password password for github is the passphrase or the token access token i will copy paste the same click on enter we have pushed the changes let us now verify whether the changes has been reflected in the remote github repository whatever changes we have in the remote git that only will be deployed to oci so the changes are reflecting a greeting there is a spelling mistake there is a, a extra we will ignore that as of now then we are having hi instead of hello couple of changes looks good then what we have to do is we have to just deploy skip everything whatever step mentioned by oracle we have already logged in if you have just logged out suppose if you are coming back to this code after one or two days you will be automatically logged out so we have to re-log in we have currently logged into our docker registry we have to just deploy our code so for that purpose i will straight away go to this getting started page in the functions here we will get the deployment command handy just copy this and paste this over here click on enter so when you deploy the functions code for the second or third time it will take less amount of time because in the comment if you see over here in the deployment logs it will say layer already existing it will just push the function py and the ml5 rest fdk everything will be intact next we have to just invoke let me use the command to invoke it's over here click on enter this time we have to get the greeting here if you see we are having a greeting instead of hello we are having a hi so like this we can make use of code editor in order to pull the code from the github repository and modify the code and redeploy the code. Suppose if you are having a requirement to enhance the code which was previously developed with the help of CLI. Now since Oracle has launched the code editor. Suppose if your client asks you to leverage or make use of the code editor only instead of CLI or command interface or a notepad in your local computer then this is very useful. <laughs>